the pivot lab that we're going to look at are mass changes during chemical reactions. Now in this lab, we're not going to look at the actual how many grams of something we start with and how many grams of product is going to make. We're really just going to look at what happens to the mass in a chemical reaction. So we're going to start out with our apparatus here. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to watch it. What's going to happen? And what's going to do, it's going to show you that we're going to take and we're going to put a sample into our tube or our container. It's going to be on a balance. We're going to seal it up. We're going to add a liquid here to the top and we're going to do a reaction. And what we're going to do is monitor the mass of the vessel that we're doing the reaction in. So that's what it's going to look like. So with part one here, what we're just going to consider is an open container. And we're going to look at two different things. We're going to look at the mass of the entire apparatus compared to the mass here of the little part of the steel wool on its own inside, um, own balance in the inside of this reaction container. So monitoring the entire system or versus monitoring the mass of the steel wool itself. And our goal is to take a look at it and see what happens, what changes. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to say what changes and why does it change? And look at some explanations to po as to possibilities. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the same thing and we're going to seal it. And your job is to predict what will happen to the entire apparatus or just the stainless steel itself, um, the steel bowl, as you do this experiment while it's sealed. When you're finished doing the answer here, lock your answer, and that will allow you to continue. Then you're going to go into an inside a sealed container. Once you do this, it's going to, again, watch the mass of the entire apparatus versus the mass of the steel wool itself. What happened? Why did it happen? And again, to continue to the next part, you're going to have to lock your answer. And we're going to take and we're going to add oxygen to this. So instead of having an environment of air, it's going to have an environment of oxygen. What's going to occur? We're then going to switch it to an environment of carbon dioxide, and we're going to do a run on that one. And you're going to describe what happens and why does it happen. And at the end, you're going to take and you're going to give your explanation of what occurred in this experiment. Lock your answer and go on to the last, which is what elephant's toothpaste. It's a lot of fun. And you'll take and you'll consider what happens there um, in an open and in a sealed container.